Mrs. Graves! Lizzie, Mrs. Graves! Rachel? Hey, what on earth's going on? It's been awful. The thunder and the lightning and all the power went out and everyone was in the hall, so I told them all to stay put. And then Sean, Sean Davis said he wasn't going to be told what to do by a stupid bloody girl and went out for a cigarette. And then didn't come back. And then Di, she went out after him and she didn't come back either. Where is Dylan? Was he with Sean and Di? No, I've been looking after him. Do you think they'll come back? I, I don't know, Rachel. I don't care what anyone thinks. I just know if he was my baby, I could never leave him. Even if the whole world was coming to an end, I'd make sure he came first. You'd be a good mum, Rachel. Oh, don't worry. It's fine. Go, go back inside and tell everyone that they're doing a great job. A really wonderful job. I just got a few things to finish up here, and then I'll come in and join you. Right. Go on. Save them. Just pack a case and meet me at the station. They've closed the lines. Weren't you listening to the radio? Because of the flu. There is no flu, Lizzie. Oh, Christ, Stephen, I'm not stupid. Of course there's no flu, but the stations are still closed. There's an access footpath that runs alongside the main tunnel. You can get out that way. They won't have thought of it. You know what's going on, don't you? You can't use the phone anymore. Well, like you're not using one right now. Funny. Listen. Just don't use the phone after this. No TV or radio either. It can hide in the signal. Oh, you make it sound like it's alive. I don't think we have a word for what it is. Just promise me. Don't tell anyone. Pack quietly. Meet me at the station tomorrow, all right? I feel awful lying and leaving all these people here. It was a brilliant idea about the show. Top marks for that, you clever thing. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.
Oi, Shipley. I want a word with you. What? Get over here, soft lad, and keep your voice down. Do you know who I am? Yeah? You work for Meg Holloway? Charlie Tate. You can call me Charlie. What's this about, Charlie? Rachel Baker. What about her? Oh, come on, son. I wasn't born yesterday. Are you looking to get your head kicked in? She's 16. She's not a kid. You try telling her dad that. He'll bloody kill you. I love her, though. You can't stop love. I'm not telling you to stop anything. Just be careful, that's all. Don't touch it. It's fine. It's like a sunburn, but it's a funny shape. Is it sore? I can't feel it at all. Don't fuss over it. I can't believe that you left Kate there. Why won't you tell me what happened? She's probably not even noticed I've gone. Uh, it's really nothing. You're lying. Don't lie to me. Fine. We had a row. She'll work all night anyway. Stephen, listen to me. Was there an accident? Is that how your face got burnt? It's nothing. Something, I don't know. Just got a bit shaken up and then we fought. She wanted to stay and collect more data. Was she burnt as well? Is everything all right? Jesus, Liz, are you sleeping with me or her? She's fine, we're both fine. I don't want to talk about her. I came here to see you. I just worry... Well, you... don't. Come to bed. I don't even care that he was screwing her. What made me angry was that he treated me like I was too stupid to notice. I dream through the light storm and see the pattern dancing on his skin as he burns. I wake up with eyes full of liquid light. I'm going to concentrate all five remaining towers on the same point in the sky. If it is establishing conduits for communication, that should create a jump in bandwidth. It's just been on the radio that they're closing the roads. Something about the flu? D no one here has flu, Sean. There's no flu here. I overheard Mrs. Graves, and she said another family of Epton left. She said they must have left last night, but the car and all their stuff's still here. Screw this day. There's 15 people up and left in two days. I don't like it. Where's the baby? Asleep in a caravan. Sean, I don't want to sit around you waiting for it to get worse. 
I reckon if we leave now, we can get out to the valley before they get their acts together and close the roads. You think so? Yeah, we can go the back roads, through the woods. I'll leave some money on the side for Mrs. Graves. You know her husband isn't back here either. He's a boozer, right? That's what I've heard. That's her problem anyway. Don't be unkind, Sean. Come on, let's go and get there then. I think it was instant. I, I know that's no help. Can you leave me alone? There was nothing we could do. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Ben. I've woken the baby. Just leave me alone. Rachel, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Found it like this? Yeah. I got into the habit of checking in first thing in the morning just to make sure he's had his pills. Mr. Coles is not a well man, Elizabeth. It's entirely possible he upped and wandered off. If things progressed, the mind can be a fragile thing, you know? It's just not very like him, that's all I'm saying, Doctor. He never misses the mid-morning bingo. He didn't smoke, did he? Not that I knew of. There's a funny... It's like ash. Well, that, that is odd. Reese cleaned in here yesterday afternoon. I'll have to have a word. It's not like cigarette ash. Strange. Dr. Wade has just been a phone call. We needed back at the village. Apparently, Mrs. Barton has disappeared. 